Hey YouTube, I'm just making this to help out people. I bought this off Rock Auto. It's the first Rock Auto purchase ever. Uh, they have not compensated me in any way. It is a Ultra Power brand, part number 4650 lift support. It was like $7 or something each. And it looks like it's gonna fit this thing. It's um, 18 inches extended, 12 inches compacted. It looks to be the same the same size uh, diameter as the uh, as the OEM one, and I popped off one of these clips with a, a small screwdriver off this bottom one, and then I need to do the top one. I'm using this um, hiking stick to hold it so it doesn't fall and hit me on the head, and see how easily this um, pops back in. Well, I'll let you know. So it's kind of vague on all these internet videos that are like, pop off the clip. You're like, well, where's the clip? Well, the clip is this little thing up here. And it doesn't pop off as easy as you might think. You sort of have to work on it because it's like a spring steel kind of thing. And then you eventually will get it off. See how I'm having to like kind of fight at it to get it off? Anyway, it's kind of hard to do one-handed. But I know we're going to just pop this sucker off. There we go. All right, with this supported, I just I just grabbed on this and it popped right out, and then the bottom one pops right out. See? And I guess it'll just be as easy as let's do this one first down here. Ah, snaps right in. Uh, have to probably. All right, so I just snapped that one in and then I snapped this one. And when I did it, I snapped it in such a way that this was on the outside because these are under some serious compression. I hope they're not too tight, actually. Let me do the other one and see how it is. All right, so I've got both of them installed now, these Ultra Powers. And I know that I've read in the forums where some folks have suggested that if they're too stiff, then it could make it so that they um, put some weird stresses on these and make it so that it doesn't shut right. Um, I don't, so I don't know if these are too powerful or too strong. That's why I actually chose the quote cheaper ones. I'm hoping that cheaper ones may not be quote too strong, whatever that means. I know this just tentatively looking at it, they don't, it's not so strong that. That if when you when you pop it open, it's going to just open up on you. But you know what? I could see that if you were at a certain angle, possibly, it could do that. I know this a lot better than it hitting the head. We'll just have to see what happens, you know, in due time. But these were, like I said, they were like six fifty to seven dollars a piece, plus nine ninety nine shipping, and I just used that to go ahead and order a windshield washer pump for this truck. And by adding a windshield washer pump, it was like $10. It didn't add anything extra to shipping. So I know this, I'm really excited about this holding up now. I don't know if I've ever told y'all, but the reason why I've always wanted one of these vehicles was because the first time I ever saw one of these was in 1998. I was on a uh, fishing trip in North Georgia mountains and I met uh, Bill Jordan, the guy who started Realtree. And he was sitting on the tailgate of a uh, 98 or 97 Suburban, not sure which one. He was sitting right here. He's putting his waders on. We didn't, I didn't know it was Bill Jordan, but my buddy was like, man, that's Bill Jordan, the guy who invented Realtree. And we came up to him and we introduced ourselves. We were young guys back then. And we just had the nicest conversation with him. And I was thinking, man, that guy drives a Suburban, you know? I mean, he was so famous back then even. And so I was like, I always have wanted one of these. I love them with the tailgate. They're so useful. And and when you have one of these, things keep hitting you on the head all the time because the lift supports are bad. Pain, you know, in this case, 25 bucks shipped to get lift supports so they don't hit you on the head is what a, that's awesome. I'm so happy with this. Nice. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope this helps somebody.